guys, it's Olya and uh, today my video is about what to visit in Kiev. Um, it's a little bit weird the name of uh, that, uh, the video because it's actually the topic of my blog. But of course I understand if there is some person who wants to visit Kiev, uh, he can't uh, um, watch all my videos to find some necessary information for him. So in this video I decided to tell about, uh, to tell very short about all places which we need to visit in cave. Okay, the first one is St. Michael Cathedral and St. Sophia Cathedral. They are located uh, in the downtown and they are 1000 years old. Uh, if you have never been in Orthodox churches, you definitely need to visit them. And uh, uh, by the way, St. Michael's Cathedral have a free entrance, by, uh, but for Sophia you need to pay around $5 for entrance ticket. Andrews Descent. This is very historical street in Kiev. If you love architecture, this must be place number one in your list. Uh, but even if you're not interested in architecture so much, there are a lot of street sellers and you can buy some souvenirs, pictures, interesting gifts for your friends. And also it's street of theaters, museums and restaurants. Paisajna Alleya. Uh, this very creative and unique place in Kiev. There are so many creative modern sculptures. It's great place to take a cool pictures. And also you will have an opportunity to see the downtown of Kiev from the high point. Uh, it's located near the Andrews Descent, so you can compare to visit those two places in the one's time. Museum of the Second World War. This museum has a very big territory, so you can walk in just outside. The most important destination here is the statue of Mother Motherland, one of the highest statues in the world. Also, you can visit museum inside and find a lot of interesting things if you are interested in war topic. But if you are not interested in war topic, you also can visit this place. Just don't enter inside of the museum. Shevchenko Park. Uh, it's a great park in downtown. There are a lot of interesting art things like benches, statues. Uh, in the warm season there are so many people, students, because here is the best university of uh, Shevchenko uh, near. And actually it's a great place to make new friends, uh, to watch to the people, uh, look for their lifestyle, see a lot of students, mother with carriages, with children and actually just have a rest. because. The this is Central Park and always some interesting things is situated here. Vozdvizhenka. Uh, this is historical area in downtown which was totally rebuilt 10 years ago. You can see totally new houses but in style of 19th century of Kiev. You can feel the spirit of old Kiev taking us in pictures and relaxing in the summer because this place is surrounded by wooden hills. Arsenal na subway station. This is the deepest subway station in the world. I would suggest you to visit all subway stations in the downtown and see how they look inside. You pay just once when you enter to the subway and then you can spend just whole day there. Uh, so if you have a lot of time and you don't have a lot of money, so try this way and just visit all the subway stations in Kiev. And also I need to say that Arsenal is the deep subway station in the world, but um, the stairs is divided into two parts and you don't feel it so much that it is very deep. But if you will visit uh, the station Universitat, which means university, they have just one very long way to, uh, to the um, uh, street. So in that case you will feel that you are really deep, deep under uh, the uh, ground. So I suggest you, you visit Arsenal subway station and Universitat. Arc of Friendship of Nations. A uh, very famous place located in the downtown of Kyiv with a great view into the Dnipro River. Kyiv Pechersk Lavra. One of the oldest churches in Kyiv with very luxurious interior. Botanic Garden. 
it's very big park in Kiev with a great view into Old City and Dnipro River, but the best time to visit it is spring, summer and early fall. Ayava Sloboda. Uh, it's a green park with elements of Ukrainian folk houses, churches and uh, other buildings. You will like it. Perohiv. A uh, museum near the cave uh, where you can see all traditional houses of Ukrainians from different regions. You can see people in national clothes and try Ukrainian national food. Mystetsky Arsenal. Um, this is art gallery where you can always find some interesting exhibition and spend 3-4 hours educating yourself. Mariinsky Park. Uh, this is a great place in the downtown, which looks so good in the green time. Dream Town. This is huge, just a huge shopping center, where every section is built in different style. For example, Chinese with Ch Chinese section with Chinese restaurant, elevator in Chinese style, and everything you know in Chinese style. Then Brazilian, Brazilian restaurant, Brazilian elevator, Brazilian different uh, pictures and it's actually very very interesting. Ocean Plaza. Uh, it's shopping mall with a huge aquarium inside. Some people say that this is the biggest aquarium in Europe. I don't know, but you definitely need to visit and see on your own eyes. Lavina Mall. It's the biggest shopping mall in Ukraine. It's crazy big and inside they have dancing fountains, they have uh, different attractions, uh, entertainment park and uh, thousands of shops and restaurants so you definitely need to visit and Lavina Mall was open just months ago so it's also the newest shopping center in Kiev. So it was 15 places which you can visit in Kiev. Of course you need to choose them uh, according to your likes and dislikes and also depending how long you stay in Kiev. But in general I think it's 15 places which you need to visit. Also Kiev always have some uh, festivals, some exhibitions, some interesting activities also. So when you will be in Kiev you need to see what is interesting on that time. And I bet you will have a great time here in Ukraine. Love you guys all waiting for your comments and also write your suggestions what to visit in Kyiv for my viewers. Love you guys all! Bye!